Hi Internet, Bryce here. I'm making vlog number one on my YouTube channel to kind of answer the question, well not kind of, I will answer the question, about what does a pit crew member do outside of the pit crew? Like what do I do? Do I just go poof, vanish, gone, and then RuPaul uses a wand and summons me whenever he needs me to show up on his show? No! That would be very interesting and a fun fact, but that's just simply not true. Uh, I'm actually an aerospace engineer for my day job, and I show up to RuPaul's Drag Race from time to time when they want people to stand around in underwear and they want a redhead to stand around in underwear. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about, you know, where I came from, not in the sense of like, you know, the existential where do we come from, but a little bit of background about myself, and then I'll kind of talk about all my various side hobbies that I do outside of RuPaul's Drag Race and kind of how I allocate my time and my plans kind of going forward uh, for this wonderful year of 2021. So I went to UCLA for my undergrad and my master's degree in aerospace engineering. Um, I chose aerospace engineering because I saw the movie Top Gun as a kid and I saw all the airplanes flying around. It's like, I want to work on airplanes. So that's what I did. I just checked aerospace engineer off on my college application and the rest is relatively short history. Uh, five years ago, I started on RuPaul's Drag Race and that led to a variety of wonderful opportunities. Uh, I was able to get on the Red Hot 100 calendar twice. I was able to host Pride in Indianapolis in 2016. Um, and then I also started a bunch of social media accounts because of it. Uh, people tend to follow me because of the show, but I try to post some of my other various hobbies. I'm going to try to use YouTube to delve a little deeper into all the things I'm interested in. So I've got, you know, Instagram, Twitter, just started TikTok today, actually. Um, YouTube, obviously you're on YouTube right now. I stream video games on Twitch. So there's a lot of different kind of outlets to show my various hobbies and interests. So I've got a lot of hobbies, but I don't really have time to do all of them in a single day. So just to list off the things I really enjoy doing, uh, lots of endurance activities such as, you know, bike riding, distance running, mountain ultra trail running, going for hikes with friends. Uh, for the distance running, that's my main go-to passion. I've ran several ultra marathons up to 100 kilometers that took me like 14 hours and I was running through the Continental Divide. Um, and I've also qualified for and ran in the Boston Marathon. And then when I'm injured from running or I want to change a pace, I'll go for nice long bike rides, usually in the Malibu Hills. Uh, in terms of athletics, I also like weightlifting. Uh, it kind of doesn't really go hand in hand because the more weight you lift, the bigger you get generally, and the bigger you are the harder it is to run far. So they're kind of at odds with each other, but I enjoy both. I also was on the cheer team. So I threw people in the air, you know, I could hold a girl over my head with one arm. It's a neat party trick if you have a person willing to, to do that. And after college, there wasn't a whole lot of cheer opportunity. So I got into acro yoga, which is a ton of fun. And then outside of all the athletic activities, I kind of like artistic stuff too. So I got really into photography. Uh, I've actually made a photography calendar for 2021, plug that away. And I also dabbled a little bit in watercolor. I painted an apple. I think that was my crowning achievement, but I don't think it's really worth the bang for the buck to keep on doing that a whole lot. But as you can guess, in a single day, I can't do all of those things. Even in a single week, I'm probably not going to go for a long bike ride, put in enough training to prepare for a marathon, also go rock climbing and play beach volleyball and do acro yoga and take some good photos and make a YouTube video and play video games on Twitch. There's not enough time, so I kind of have to focus myself. And that's my goal right now in 2021 is to pick a few things and actually do them long enough to become better at them. So my things I want to focus on right now for fitness, two things. I've started up a pretty simple, but not like too sexy of a goal. Just a hundred push-ups a day. I don't care when it happens. Uh, just as long as I knock out a hundred in a day, ideally, you know, not five here, five there, five there, five there. 
etc throughout the entire day i want to get them all knocked out in as short of time as possible and as few of sets as possible but just as long as I do them every single day i feel like that consistency will at least keep a general upper body fitness going on if i'm not actively going to the gym uh, and then I also need to make sure I'm in shape for marathons going forward. So hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers, we actually get some races back on later in this year. And I don't want those races to catch me off guard. So I do need to start running actually consistently, but not so much that I get injured. Because that's one of the issues I have is I'll run way too far because I'll feel great. And then my body, I'm in my early 30s now, stuff wears out before you get tired so like my tendons and joints and muscles like it I, I need to play it safe so i'm going to plan on running just 25 to 30 miles a week for at least a month or two before really ramping up into the mileage needed to run a good marathon time and then heaven forbid if the 100 miler is still on for this summer that will be rough so i need to make sure i get in a good solid base before doing that because that's going to be quite a doozy. In addition to that, I need to be consistent on Twitch. I started it up in the middle of last year, but I didn't quite get an actual schedule. I was just making sure I can do it and making sure I was comfortable reading a chat and playing a game and juggling everything else at the same time. So my goals now are to stream Twitch twice a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays at about 6.30 p.m. So that gives me time to finish up my normal work. It doesn't conflict with any cross-country calls with, you know, foreign customers on the other side of the world or anything like that. So that's twice a week or, you know, more if I feel the urge to play like on another day. And then finally, YouTube. Like... YouTube is out there, it's everywhere, people watch it, and I just kind of want to share my thoughts on all the various hobbies that I have and share it with you and hopefully you can see the enjoyment that it brings in me and then maybe you'll go try out something new. And that being said, I know some things are going to fall off on the wayside a little bit. You can't, since, since I can't do everything, I know I'm not going to be doing as much photography, as much weightlifting, you know, Things are going to fall by the wayside, like heck, guitar, right there. I'm probably not going to be learning new songs. I'll still play it to relax a little bit. I really want to put in enough time for a snowball effect on some of my hobbies to actually build up. That's my spiel on vlog number one, so I will keep you posted on how I go with those 100 push-ups a day. Uh, you can see them on TikTok probably, that's where I'll be just making sure I'm being held accountable, <laughs> so to speak because I'm going to count to 100 every time. All right. Bye.